Hi, this is Kendrick at worldmedicalschool.org. We're going to talk about intrauterine growth restriction. This will be a pretty short video. So we describe intrauterine growth uh, description, IUGR, as being fetal weight less than 10th percentile, which is kind of strange because uh, in the epidemiology numbers I, set, I saw, it described it as being a 3 uh, to 10 percent of the population which you'd think if it was anybody under 10%, then it would be 10% of the population. So I don't know what those numbers mean. But uh, it does increase perinatal mortality and uh, certainly increases morbidity. So it's, uh, it's an important thing to watch out for. So if you think about a baby growing in there and uh, the causes of uh, growth restriction, um, it's easy to imagine that uh, problems with the mother could lead to uh, decreased growth. So if the mom's not getting enough, enough for nutrition or if she's uh, abusing substances like alcohol, tobacco, uh, cocaine, uh, quite a few other illicit drugs, all of those can lead to uh, a decrease in nutrition or uh, increase in abnormalities in the uh, fetus. Um, systemic diseases, uh, including diabetes, systemic infections, uh, cardiopulmonary problems, all those things can decrease oxygen, which in, uh, in turn decreases oxygen delivery to the fetus. So, and then uteroplacental causes, uh, same reason. If we're not getting enough uh, oxygen slash nutrients to the fetus, then uh, we're going to end up with a smaller baby. So preeclampsia does this uh, multiple gestation. Uh, you can imagine if there there is less uh, less uh, nutrition to go around in a multiple gestation. Uterine malformation. I'm not sure how that actually leads to it, uh, as well as oligohydramnios, which will restrict the uh, area that the child has to grow. So, and then the fetus can also have problems of its own, like chromosomal abnormalities and uh, infections from the mother. So, we, uh, we measure the fundal height at, at every obstetric visit, um, and uh, that's a pretty crude way of determining uh, if there might be intrauterine growth restriction, especially because... Um, those measurements can be off by a couple of weeks. But it is something that might lead us to do an extra ultrasound, uh, aside from the, the normal screening ultrasounds that we do, and may lead us to the diagnosis of uh, intrauterine growth restriction. And some of the major complications include hypoglycemia. You can imagine if they're not getting enough sugar uh, in the utero, then they're going to not have enough sugar uh, to build up their, their glycogen storage, and that will lead to hypoglycemia. Polycythemia, of course, if you're not getting an enough oxygen, then you have an increase in erythropoietin. Hypothermia, I don't know how that's caused. Uh, thrombocytopenia and uh, leukopenia also is in that category. Uh, you can imagine if you just don't have enough nutrients and you're not going to make these new cells. So the treatment usually revolves around treating the underlying problem. So if we go back up to our causes, uh, we make sure the mom's getting enough nutrition. We tell her to stop smoking. Uh, we treat whatever systemic disease she's got. Uh, Preeclampsia, there's not a whole lot we can do there aside from delivery. Uh, multiple gestation, of course, you don't want to treat that uh, quote-unquote problem. Uterine malformation. Uh, we can't do a whole lot about oligohydramnios. We can improve the fluid status, which may lead to uh, better uh, amniotic fluid levels. Um, and we can, in some cases, treat intrauterine infections. So uh, steroids are also used for fetal lung maturity uh, in anticipation of uh, premature delivery. And uh, fetal mon monitoring, like the non-stress test, the CST, which I forgot what that stands for, uh, biophysical pro profile, um, and umbilical artery Doppler velocimeter. Those can uh, help us to get an idea of how well the fetus is doing 
And if those are not reassuring, then we will deliver the baby early. So uh, thanks for your uh, comments and your help. If you want to be more involved, come to worldmedicalschool.org backslash volunteer.